Hey guys, Target Recycling FPV, and we have done a, uh, let's see, one, two, three, we did frame, we did PSC, and we did motor. So we're on uh, part four of our build. This is our build right here. And right now, what we're getting ready to do now, this is the ARC uh, F40, F140, sorry, frame that we have on our website that you can find under three inch frames on our website. And we're using the HDRC F440 uh, stack, right? So this is the F440 ESC. We're getting ready to put the flight controller on, then we're gonna put the VTX in the camera. Uh, we just finished the motors, and now what we wanna do is we wanna solder in the last pieces uh, for the flight controller so that we can get everything set up, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and zoom out here, and we're going to split the screen. And we're gonna, there we go, all right? So let's get started. Uh, sorry about all the screws here, but this is part of the build. All right, so what we wanna do now is we've got the flight controller that we need to put on, right? And one of the things that we want to look at is we want to look at what exists underneath, right? What's on the bottom here of this uh, ESC, or sorry, of the flight controller, and what's on the top, okay? So the things you want to pay attention to on the bottom is here's your RX and TX, and then you've got your, uh, you've got a few of them actually, TX3, RX6, TX6, right? So we're going to be focused on the RX6 and TX6, okay? And uh, one of the things we want to do with that, bear with me a second because I want to see something here. I don't think you guys can see that screen, but I am actually looking at an update here that was done, and I want to make sure that I have this right. With the updated information. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, that's my phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, add our, um, our flux pen, and we're gonna, just going to go ahead and apply some flux to the board. Whether you plan to use those pads or not, just go ahead and do it. Don't worry about it. It doesn't hurt anything to just kind of th paint it on there, okay? So let's look at the board again and see what we're going to be working with. So on this board, we've got a few things here. Um, this is going to be where we put our receiver. So we've got our 5 volt ground and an S-Bus, so we're good there. Uh, not sure what happened there, but there we go. And then uh, on this side, we have our buzzer and our LED options. And on this side, uh, we have our camera for our VTX, and our, uh, we have a camera here, and then our VTX option here. And then underneath, like I said, we have our RX and TX here, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply to our uh, TX uh, and our RX. So from the ESC that we have right here, there is uh, a positive and negative. These are gonna be for the uh, capacitor, which are, where did I put it? I have a capacitor, oh, here it is. So this is what HDLRC includes. It's a big capacitor, but it's a good one. And so we're going to fasten that. And then we've got this last one here, and that's actually going to be for the ESC telemetry. So we need to run some cables, right? So we're going to get some wire, and I'm just going to grab some wires. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out when I lay this board out, it's going to lay like this. And I know that I need to get to the RX6 from the TX from telemetry here. So here's the RX. So when this lays out like this, I need to make, make the wire come from here to there, right? I also am going to need to get to the TX, which is going to be for our smart audio, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is tin this board up. And I'm just going to tin and, and set up the RX and TX here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do, and I'm only going to do three, I mean six, RX and TX six. On this side, I have my current sensor and my RSSI. I'm not worried about that right now. Uh, and then I have my um, UART threes here, RX, UART three, and our TX three here. I'm not going to be using those just yet, but uh, you know what? I'll just tin them just in case. Why not? There's no harm, no foul. So might as well, all right, there we go. And then I'll come over here and I will do the current sensor in RSSI just in case I have a change of heart later and decide to do that, okay? So let's grab some wires now because we wanna get this part done and turn this board over and not have to worry about it again. So um, make sure you have your wires handy and I don't, but I will. Oh, let's see, what do I wanna use? Uh, I guess for the heck of it, I'm just gonna grab these. Really wish there was something better than that, but yeah, it's okay. Okay, so I'm going to take uh, the, um, no, I really wanted to recall the wire. Hold on a second. Where do I have my wires? Okay, there. Okay, so I'm going to take some of these extra wires that I have. Just kind of get ready. Cut them and use them, okay? Let's see if that works. So for my um, telemetry, I like to use white and yellow. So I'm gonna pull those off of here. Let me do that real quick. Take the white, take the yellow, and just go ahead and get it done. I'm just gonna cut all these off, I don't care. Okay, so let's start with the yellow. 
I'm going to strip that. Okay. And like we did with the other wires, we're going to tin them by putting them in the flux paste there and then giving us a little room somewhere to apply some solder. Okay, so let's do it like that. And we'll apply solder here. There we go. All right, so that I'm going to use as my... Um, Oh heck, I'll use that. No, I'll use that. Yeah, I'll use that as my uh, as my ESC telemetry. Okay, so I'm just going to come in from underneath here because uh, I don't want the wire exposed if it doesn't have to be. So let me go ahead and clean off the tip of the soldering iron, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in this way and solder it to that pad right there, very quickly, and that's it. All right, so I think I got it there pretty good. Yep, there we go. All right, and that's done. And now all I gotta do is make sure that I route it properly. And at this point, I'm also gonna go ahead and get my um, capacitor ready, okay? And to do that, I guess, given this build, I'm not really sure how I wanna do this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll lay it out like this way. All right? Just like that. I think that might be cool. That might kinda get it in a safe distance and keep it out of any harm. So let's do that. And what I'll do is I'll put a, a wrap around it so that it looks like I do when I do like a, looks like a smoke stack, like a stack from a car. Let me go ahead and grab this real quick. And again, it'll be blue, so it'll go nicely with the build. Let's do that. Get the scissors and cut, cut that much off. So we've got a nice little piece left there. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up real quick. I want to make it look like an exhaust here. And I think I've got a, a teacher coming in here in just a second, so bear with me a sec. I may end this video very quickly and then continue when I'm done. Hold on one second, go. Let me go tell him we're doing a video. Brian, I'm doing a video real quick, so just come on in, but I want you to know I'm doing a lot of it. Hey, babe. Uh, let me know Brian, Brian Stafford's here, okay? All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Now let me get back to work. Let me get this stuff out of the box so Brian can sit down. What's up, bud? Here, let me see. Let me just uh, knock this out real quick. Okay, so... What are we gonna do? You got a minute or no? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. So we're gonna heat shrink this here, right? So it kind of looks like a little smokestack, a little exhaust. Cut off what you want, just like that, and then lay it out here and make sure that you have the positive and the ground set accordingly. And at that point, go ahead and just put some paste on it. Get ready to pre-tin this as well. Now the pre-tinning on this is gonna be a little different because it usually won't hold very much, but just anyway, just do it just because. If you can get any solder to hold on here, it's going to attach much easier to the board. So there you go, just like that. All right. All right. Then lay it out on the board. And we know the positives on this side, so lay it out here, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up zip tying this somewhere right about here. So measure how much wire you need. Cut the excess off. So I don't need that. And I think for the ground, about that all right so then start with the outside first solder that in there there you go I need that to hold though I may have to put some more solder on that pad let's see where we're at then bring the positive around like this so there as well and hold it in place and once those are firmly in and you're sure they are Bring it down just like this, okay? So I'm gonna leave that like that, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put um, a piece of, or a couple zip ties around, and make sure that we hold this in place. And then I will end up putting some hot glue right over these two pads to make sure that it holds even better, okay? So let me put this in place here. one and then we put one more all 
All right, the capacitor is solid. It's not moving. And now we can remove the zip ties, or the ends of the zip ties, and there you go. So we've got our cap in place. They're on there pretty solid. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna put some hot glue when this build is finished to cover that up real quickly. Matter of fact, I'll just do that right now. So let me just go ahead and drop some hot glue right there. And I'm gonna cover this whole area. And a little trick to the hot glue is gonna be like this. When you apply hot glue, go ahead and take your heating iron once it's applied and just hit the area as well. And it's gonna push that hot glue into areas where there's gaps so that you can kind of fill some of the gaps in, okay? Some of the gaps where the hot glue may be a little too thick to get in there, heat it up a little bit more. And then when you're done, hit it with some air real quickly and it'll push the rest in. And it'll dry that hot glue pretty, pretty tough. But when you take it off, it'll come off as one piece instead of being this nasty stuff to uh, remove, okay? So there's that. So now we have our ESC stuff done here. And uh, let's see, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our flight controller and we know that we have our positions here for our TX and our RX. And remember, this is a TX coming off, which means it's a transmitting. So for it to work, it has to go into an RX. That's usually the most common mistake I see people make. So make sure that when you come off of a TX like this pad, you go into an RX. When you come off of an RX, you go into a TX. You don't go TX to TX, RX to RX, or you won't get anywhere, okay? And so we know that this board is gonna sit like this. We know that the distance to this uh, RX is gonna be pretty close. So the only other thing left to do is just gonna be to prepare our smart audio wire, which is gonna go into the TX6. So let me just get that tinned up real quickly. And again, we're just gonna lean it on something, okay? And as soon as I'm done with that, we'll take we'll stop the video here. So this will be kind of a an in between between the uh, ESC and the flight controller, getting them ready, and then I'll come back and do the flight controller next. Okay, so let's just tin this up. All right, there we go. And this this TX is actually going to go to the smart audio. So I'm gonna have this coming out. So it's, oops, where did it go? I just dropped the wire. Okay, so the wire is gonna go from the TX on the underside of the flight controller, and that's gonna to go to the RX, uh, or the smart audio pad on the, on the VTX, okay? So let's just tin that real quick. And then this piece, we know where it's going, so we can finish that very quickly by getting it to cut to size. It's going to fit right here so we're going to feed it to about right there and you know for the yeah i'm going to trim this down just a little bit just like that strip a little bit of it back again get ready to tin it up you want to make sure you take the time to tin up all your wires now if you're going to be soldering over the board make sure to put something over it so that you don't drop solder on the board directly so i'm just going to use this plastic bag real quickly and let me tin this real quick there we go. Okay. And now I'm going to grab the flight controller. I'm going to apply this. Knowing that it's going to be coming this way. So I'm going to apply it like this. So I might just go ahead and just kind of rest that in there. So I've got some support. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to come in just like that. And there we go. Done. With that done, the flight controller, all I need to do now is put in two more spacers, which are gonna come right here. There it is. We're gonna put one here. Just checking that pin there. And I'm gonna put one more over here. Make sure they're fastened well. Okay, one, two, three, and four. And now we can get an idea of how much, uh, how everything fits by just putting the ESC or the uh, flight controller over, lining it up with the pins. Make sure not to puncture or put that wire in the area of the pins there. Press it down. Make sure to clear your standoffs. Let's see if I did yet. Yeah, I gotta move that just a little bit. Press that down, and there you go. So I can push that wire back in, in there. And now look how clean that is. So we've got now our VTX uh, smart audio ready to go. 
uh, and we've got our capacitor on and we've got room to solder in our XT30 when we're done with the build. So I don't have to do that next. Now we're ready to finish the top part of the flight controller, which is going to be the next step. So, all right, guys, so there's the final result right there. So we've got our flight controller now on. We've got our telemetry uh, from our ESC wired in right here, and we've got our capacitor that we put on right there. The build's still looking clean. Everything's measured exactly right. Our capacitor looks good. And now we've got our smart audio wire waiting to be, uh, waiting to be soldered uh, to the uh, VTX, all right? If you have any questions, guys, hit me up at targetcyclonfpv.com. Please make sure to follow us and subscribe to us. As always, guys, God bless. Safe flying. Spend time with your family. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.